So here I am sitting in my very new Kia EV9. Don't get me wrong, I love this thing, but there are five things that kind of annoys me and let me show you what they are. The first one is the start button and the gear shift, the one that you push to go forwards or go backwards. Why does it annoy me? Do you see it? You can't see it, right? The camera right now is at my eye level. So this is literally what I see when I'm in the car. That thing is actually down here. Now you still can't see it very well. Let me see on this side. Still a problem seeing it? Yeah, because it's really, really hidden. It's big and chunky, which is good. The steering wheel is big and chunky, which is good. But basically, it's down here. So this is the start stop button. This is the light that tells you what gear is in. And then you turn this thing to go um, to forward or to reverse. And then you push this to park. The ID4 has a kind of a similar setup, but at least it is in a place that I can reach and see. Here, literally, I have problem finding it sometimes, especially when I'm parking, I want to just go reverse, forward, reverse, forward. Now, I'm sure I'm going to get used to it once I use the car more, but they really should just move this somewhere else. The second thing that I don't like about this car, it's also to do with something that I cannot see. So again, I bring my camera back to where my eye is. We have this beautiful instrument panel. We have a really nice infotainment display. In the middle, you can't see it. Here you go. You see it now? In the middle, they put this temperature control panel. It's touch control, so you can um, up the fan, lower the fan. But honestly, I can't see it when I'm driving. So I think what happens is they just put this thing there to make use of this empty space. That's fair but it's really not that useful. The, thankfully, there are real temperature control buttons, physical push buttons, so you can go up and down, and this works really well. So this is kind of wasted. Another way to use this panel is if you press this little thing, again, not obvious, but I'm gonna call it a plus icon, then the rest of the infotainment screen switch into a full digital display for um, the fan and an AC control. That works really well. And then if you hit the X, this goes back to what it was, and then the rest is here. So again, a strange design choice. I don't know what else they could put here that you don't always need, but it's kind of good to have, but you can't see. If you have any idea, let me know in the comments below. The third thing, and this is a little bit of a, a nitpick here, this row of button, I have the same in my Telluride, but they're physical button, and they're very useful. You can get to setup screen, home screen, and so forth. But let me turn the fan down. These are touch buttons, right? But you say, oh, it's not working because they are kind of haptic. You need to push in a little bit. Now listen and watch me push it. So hopefully you hear a little click. So it's simulating a physical button and the audio feedback is good. So I know that I have pressed it but it requires quite a bit of force. So as haptic button goes, it works exactly as designed. It is just not that great. I really wish they would just put real buttons here. Next up, I have the um, Win all-wheel drive, which is the middle trim. And this is my center console. I don't have the fancy cup holder thing, but you know, this works. And I actually like this slot. You can put maybe a phone there or something. Control, fingerprint uh, reader, all cool, charging pad. And if you go down here, there's this space. So it would be nice if this has storage, but I said, no, the storage is underneath. Let me lift up this really nice comfy thing and see what my storage options are. Uh, that's it. This thing, no, it doesn't move either. This is all the storage I get up here. Kind of crazy, right? Now there is this really nice bin at the bottom and I have a tissue box there. Let me if I can see if I can show you more of that. So the bin down there is pretty, pretty useful, but I sure wish there's a little bit more storage 
ideally inside this. Finally, and this is a personal thing, right? This car has really beautiful synthetic leather all around, seats, steering wheel, everything is very, very good. But if you look at the buns, these are shiny plastic buns. And to me, they look kind of cheap. I mean, this is a $65,000 car. Same on the steering wheel. The steering wheel, it's great, but then you get these shiny plastic buttons. So I really wish they would use some other material here, even at the door. So if you look at the buttons on the door, these are different. These are matte and they are better. So I wish they would use more of a matte material, but I think that designer probably think this is actually a plus, but I really just don't like these shiny plastic. Shiny plastic to me um, so indicate cheaper implementation. So that's it. Five things I really don't like about the EV9. But otherwise, it really is a really wonderful car.